Unit 10, Lesson 2 Test. Number one, using the dichotomous key, determine whether the shown leaf is from a coniferous tree or a broadleaf tree. Does the tree have needle-like leaves and bare cones? Yes, you have a coniferous tree. Or does it have thin, flat leaves? Yes, you have a broadleaf tree. A, coniferous, B, broadleaf, C, neither. Number two, which of the following identifies the level of classification in correct order. A. Domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. B. Genus, species, domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family. C. Domain, kingdom, genus, species, phylum, class, order, family. Number three. On a branching diagram that compares the major kingdoms of domain Eukarya, what label might appear to differentiate animals from organisms in other kingdoms? Hint, step one, recall the characteristics of animals. Step two, think about how scientists use those characteristics to classify organisms. A, single-celled, make own food. B, multicellular, make own food. C, multicellular, move independently. Number four, some things are able to tolerate life in extremely hot springs, like in Yellowstone. To which of the following domains would these organisms most likely belong? A, Archaea, B, Eukarya, C, Bacteria. Number five, which of the following statements correctly describes a kingdom of domain Eukarya? A, Kingdom Animalia includes multicellular organisms that make their own food. B. Kingdom plantae includes multicellular organisms that can move independently. C. Kingdom fungi includes organisms that get energy by decomposing materials in their environment. Number six. A domain is the broadest level of taxonomic classification. Which of the following is a characteristic of domain archaea? A. Multicellular. B. Membrane-bound organelles. C. Able to tolerate extreme conditions. Number seven, Felicia's teacher gives her the following list of types of organisms. One, ferns, two, yeasts, three, algae, four, insects. Felicia needs to identify the kingdom for each type of organism. In what order would she list the kingdoms for organisms one through four? A, plantae, fungi, protista, animalia. B, animalia, protista, plantae, fungi. C. Plantae, Protista, Fungi, Animalia. Number 8. As Carolus Linnaeus was growing up, he was interested in botany and in the names of plants. His ideas have influenced generations of biologists. How did Carolus Linnaeus contribute to the modern classification systems? A. He identified the three domains of life. B. He developed two-part scientific names. C. He standardized common names of organisms. D. He used chemical characteristics to classify organisms. Number nine. A series of paired statements used to help identify organisms is called A. A. Dictionary. B. Dichotomous key. C. Species indicator. Number ten. Using the dichotomous key to determine the tree, the tree the leaf came from. Question one. Is the tree coniferous? Does the tree have needle-like leaves or bare cones? Yes, you have a loblolly pine. Or, is the tree a broadleaf? Does it have thin, flat leaves? Yes, go to question two. Question two, are the leaves simple? Is there one leaf attached to the petiole? Yes, go to question three. Or, are the leaves compound? Are there multiple leaflets on a single petiole? Yes, go to question four. Question three, are the simple leaves opposite? Yes, you have a red maple. Or are the simple leaves alternate? Yes, go to question five. Question four, are the compound leaves alternate with lanceolate shaped leaflets? Yes, you have a pecan. Or are the compound leaves opposite with oval shaped leaflets? Yes, you have a Texas ash. Question five, are the margins serrated or toothed and is the leaf shaped oval? Yes, you have an American elm. Or are the margins lobed and is the leaf apex rounded? Yes, you have a post oak. A, post oak. B, Texas ash. C, American elm. 
number 11. Scientists often use a type of branching diagram called a what, which shows the relationship among species. A, phylum, B, cladogram, C, dichotomous key. Number 12. Taxonomy is the science of describing, classifying, and naming living things. Which classification includes all protists, fungi, plants, and animals? A. Phylum chordata. B. Class mammalia. C. Domain eukarya. Number 13. The three domains, bacteria, archaea, and eukarya, represent very different forms of life. Domain bacteria is made up of prokaryotes. Domain eukarya is made up of all eukaryotes. Which of the following statements correctly describes the forms of life found in domain eukarya? A. The organisms are single or multicellular and have complex cell structures. B. These one-celled organisms live in harsh environments such as the deep ocean and hot springs. C. The organisms have cell walls reproduced by cell division and live in and on the human body. Number 14. Which kingdom of domain eukarya identifies life forms such as algae and slime molds? A. Kingdom plantae. B. Kingdom fungi. C. Kingdom animalia. Number 15. Among its many characteristics, which of the following is unique to organisms found in the kingdom plantae? A. Are multicellular. B. Have cell walls. C. Are heterotrophs.